All right, so final thoughts. Well, I think it's a great little scope. Um, it's definitely a user-friendly scope, I'd say. Um, it does give some pretty nice views. It's easy to use. It uh, comes with a lot of accessories. Um, albeit some of them are not exactly the highest quality. Um, but overall, I'll say it's a, a pretty, pretty solid little scope. Um, would I recommend it? Uh, it's a little hard to answer. Um, the price point, uh, the ease of use, uh, the features that it has would want me to say yes, or lead me to say yes. But um, I think a serious uh, beginning amateur astronomer would probably be better served by a telescope of larger aperture. Um, if I were to recommend a telescope to the beginning amateur astronomer, I would probably recommend a reflector uh, anywhere between four and a half to six inches in aperture um, for their first telescope. Uh, just because, you know, they're not so limited as to what they can see. Um, and of course they'll get you know, really good views of um, everything that this telescope can see, plus, you know, a lot more. When you get up to six inches of aperture and you're starting to, to open up um, on a lot of the deep sky objects that, sh that you can see, and uh, unfortunately this, this little telescope just doesn't have the, uh, the punch to resolve the uh, you know, the, the distant objects out there. Uh, but for what it can do, it, it, it does do well. Um, I will give it that. And, uh, you know, for, for young kids, like I said, I bought it for my children. Um, you know, they're young. Uh, four and six. For them, you know, for some casual astronomy, it's not bad. You know, maybe... Uh, just to take it outside for a few minutes of observation uh, when I'm not feeling like lugging this big boy out you know yeah it, it would be good for that um, but I think for the serious astronomer I'd say they'd probably better be better served by a larger uh, telescope so I think on that note overall I'd probably say no I would not recommend it for the, uh, the serious beginning amateur astronomer. Uh, but for just for casual use, sure. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, like I said, you definitely do want to upgrade those eyepieces. You know, you don't they don't have to be the absolute best. Just get some, some decent quality colossal eyepieces. You know, and that would definitely uh, drastically change the performance of this telescope, you know. Um, you can try getting a, a better quality Barlow. Uh, I would I would probably not go over um, two times. Uh, I think three is definitely pushing it. And even two times would be um, getting up there. Um, so other than that, um, oh yeah. Uh, this particular telescope, the Power Seeker series, they do offer this, um, in this particular series of telescopes, they offer a, uh, a larger aperture. I think it, it goes up to 80, 80 millimeter refractor. So you might even think about getting an 80 uh, instead of the 70. Um, they do offer it in 60 and 50. Don't even bother. Uh, I'll show you why. This uh, finder scope has a 50 millimeter aperture, and uh, with the 70 millimeter, you're, you're already limited. Uh, with the 50, you might as well be buying a pair of binoculars. So uh, I wouldn't go any any lower than the 70. So, but 
And I guess that's about does it for this uh, review. Like I said, it's not a bad telescope. But uh, they're definitely better to be had. Especially if uh, if you're really serious about getting into to astronomy. Uh, go with the reflector. Get a four and a half, six inch reflector on a Dobsonian mount and uh, you'll be good to go. Well, that about does it for this uh, video review. I hope you guys have a, a good day and I'll definitely catch up with you guys later. Ciao.